What's up, guys? Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24 7. Check out this something different on the channel. Now, what we have here, it's called a metal mini machine tool. So, mini laves and all that type of stuff. It's from Sterling Kit. I'll leave the link down below. I've been always been interested in this. You know, look at Johnny Q90 and all those cool things in machines for his RCs. So, I thought, you know what? Let's check it out. Let's just do a quick unboxing. It's got some stuff here. Now, you need to assemble it. It's a TZ. 2000 TMR. Pretty sweet, so it's like a hobby grade or oh, hobbyist little lathe. So we'll check it out, see what we get. Now, this is completely new to me. I am a noob to this, I would not have a clue. All I do is watch Johnny Q90 and all these other guys, um, or rather be welding is another one who makes like quads and all this cool stuff. So I thought, you know what, that'd be pretty sweet. First up, we have some like little squishy little feet here power cord odds and ends that's our power board i guess <laughs> check out that this is your base now i mean think a perfect place for it would be look at that it's like i bought one let's delve a little bit deeper into this <laughs> check out that now if you want to know all the specs like i said go check out the links down below it's uh, there we go, 24 watt, 12 volt, 2 amp, apparently. So I am completely new to this. There's your, oh no, some little things, you know. Your little cutting tool there. So it's got a, a little, like, check out all the specs for the total, like, the outer diameter you can fit into here. Um, but yeah, there we go. So it's got like a little screw there to adjust it. Obviously, running back and forth on the job. And this one goes in and out. I'm not too sure how good the uh, tolerances are, but we'll definitely figure it out. That is all for the box. Yep, that's it. It's pretty weighty. So that's going to go there, obviously. It's going to sit on its base. Some more equipment here, some more tools. Basically, it gives you instructions how to put it all together. Let me try to dissect some of this information, and we'll get back to you in a sec. Done a few little tweaks and put it on the bench here. Perfect little spot for it, um, before I forget those little four little pads sit on the bottom there give it a bit of cushion and you can obviously clamp it down later now i am like i said no expert with this cutting tool i don't i believe they're not supposed to be like uh, perpendicular with the actual uh face of the material I, I believe it has to be like that guys in the uh, comments please let me know like i said but we have tested a few things put this little bit of aluminium in there turn that down just uh, you know going a little bit at a time and it did work and also a trusty uh a dowel. Yeah, we're just we're just mucking around with it. So it does work. I believe it's hard to say. Uh, I think it's 10 mil max is the internal diameter. And I've been going through some of the specs. It says that the working length is maximum 135 millimeters, and it's for plastic, soft metal, so gold, silver, copper, aluminium, and also acrylic and plastic. These instructions that you get. Pause the screen if you want to read that. You got these little tools here that you use to open and close the vise or the chuck and so you can put one end in here and another in there and you can go to town to close it or open it just like that There's some timber i guess we can put it in there nothing to it if you're having longer pieces obviously you want to do the other side as well attach it to in the center point so it's not i guess you don't want too much of a, a distance here otherwise it can become unstable i'll uh, straighten it up and i'll show you the next part safety screen so engaged always use some uh, eye protection guys Plugged it in, power switch. On we go there. Obviously, forward and backwards here. And this one here is also left and right. So, just going a little bit at a time. the feed rate to go slower depending on the material but this is just soft dowel something about this is pretty fun that's why i like watching these videos rc 
Tasty Sand Cheese Machining Channel. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Yeah, there we go. So, our first lathe in the uh, in the shop here. Let's just undo this, pull her out. Look at that magnificent machined rod of uh, wood. <laughs> Nothing too exciting, but there we go. So I reckon let's put this guy in again. Let's put the other side in. Let's uh, let's continue with this. This is just. One of those like a wind chime I, I use these for exhausts for my uh for these motors you can use them as exhausts it's pretty sweet but uh yeah let's put this guy in and uh let's see how it goes i do like this kind of stuff and this is slower speed weight for uh, harder materials Also face that or what's that uh, making the end nice and square as well and saves you cutting it if you, you can just like cut it offset or cut it rough with the hacksaw you can always straighten it up with the uh, lathe there we go pretty cool what do you guys reckon definitely be handy for me you know just making some of these kind of conversions and stuff I think maybe it'd be really good for that and perfect that uh, sterling kit has these online what do you guys reckon Links are down below, go check it out. Hey, I'm a noob, flame me all you want, just let me know how I go. And if you're interested, go check out the link. But uh, something different on the channel, and I think it's pretty uh, pretty fitting for what I do as well for an RC enthusiast. So cheers guys, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.